out there, everybody. Um, this uh, bit will probably be posted as a uh, my birthday update, but uh, it's more or less a just a, a general update. Um, yeah, my uh, my birthday was the uh, 28th. I turned 28 on the 28th, so good times. Um, and uh, yeah, I just uh, I had to work that day, so did more or less the celebrating today. Parents took me out to dinner and spent some time with some family and uh, got a few gifts and whatnot. So wanted to uh, just do pretty much an update on that and other things. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, let's see. I'll start with. Um, I picked up uh, last week when it came out, um, <coughs> Batman Arkham City, the uh, collector's edition. Uh, I don't know how you can see it, but uh, you'll probably see the reflection of the camera there. But anyway, um, the uh, collector's edition with the figure and a bunch of extra stuff came with some, some bonus download stuff and uh, came with this nifty art book, which uh, keeps the game in it and whatnot. It's actually in my 360 right now. I, uh, I picked it up on 360 just to, you know, show my 360 some love. Um, I hadn't been playing it much lately. I'm not much of a, a Gears fan, so I didn't pick up Gears when it came out. and really don't have a whole lot that I plan on picking up on my uh, Xbox this season. So, uh, just basically picked it up to, uh, like I said, to have something to play on my Xbox and whatnot. Um, a couple other things I got uh, before I get into DVDs and stuff. I got this shirt, which is a rad Led Zeppelin shirt, in my opinion. Um, I always uh, always wanted to get a Zeppelin shirt, and uh, that's why my buddy got it for me, because I don't have any. And uh, I was just always kind of picky about them, because like, most of them look so, you know, I guess, uh, pretty standard. You know, pretty much the, the same stuff all the time. I always like the Swan Song logo, or one of the album covers, like four or something. And... Uh, I like this one because it looks like, you know, it looks old school, it looks kind of retro, and it looks like an old, you know, like concert poster or something, so pretty sweet. He also got me, uh, when he got me this one, he got me a, a really cool um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space poster, which is based, or poster, sorry, uh, t-shirt, which is basically the poster art, the clown face, says Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and a little, uh, I think, uh, no one in space can eat ice cream tagline and stuff, basically from the, if you got the Midnight Movies uh, release DVD basically the cover of that, but, uh, yeah, I got a couple other t-shirts today, um, from my cousin and his wife, um, got a Arkham City shirt, really, really like this one, it's super cool, super, super cool, and, uh, also got this one, everybody's getting me Batman, so does, uh, Arkham City come out, and, uh, you know, all this Batman stuff's coming out. I got a, uh, I got a really cool Batman hoodie that's got ears on it and looks like your, you know, the stuff and the belt and everything. Excuse me. Also picked this up because I've been wanting this. That like Arkham City's inspired me to pick up Batman items that I, that I, you know, been slacking on because I'm, you know, I'm a pretty big fan. And I uh, picked up this book. It's really, really cool. Um, it's the uh, Batman Vault. I, I used a gift card to get this one. Uh, a buddy of mine gave me, but it's really cool. Um, I can't really go into it. Maybe if you guys are interested and you want to see, like, inside the book, I'll do a separate vid. But uh, it's basically kind of like a uh, uh, a history of Batman, but with like scrapbook elements implemented because it's got like reproductions of, of items in it and whatnot. So, like I said, maybe I'll go through this separately if anybody cares or wants to see it. Um, oh, more Batman stuff. Once again, my mom got me this. I never thought that I would own or even care to own a Snuggie, but this thing is awesome. It's a, uh, up here. It's a Batman Snuggie that basically looks like, uh, Batman's costume, and it also has, it's the only Snuggie I've seen with a hood. It's got the, uh, ears on it and whatnot, so... I think it's comfortable as hell. I laid down and watched uh, a Blu-ray with it last night, and I was almost falling asleep, not because the Blu-ray or the movie was boring or anything, but just because that fucking thing actually is pretty comfortable. It's pretty nice. Uh, so let's see here. I guess uh, I guess that's pretty much it as far as that stuff goes. Um, the uh, last of the uh, birthday gifts are uh, right here, uh, one being the, uh, the Big Lebowski um, Blu-ray media book. 
my uh, parents got that for me. It's uh, pretty nice. Um, some cool neat stuff. Uh, just uh, if you've seen it before, then I'll make this quick. If you haven't, then uh, you know I'd check it out because I mean it's got some cool little interviews, uh, some like facts about the characters, some photographs, trivia. Um, it's got a little uh, trivia section back in here. It's like test your dudeology or something. Uh, basically, see how much you know about the movie and whatnot. But uh, just got done watching this. The uh, the picture quality is awesome. Um, I noticed things that I'd never noticed before in the movie, like uh, when uh, when they all leave together, um, Walter is still wearing his bowling shoes. Like when they notice the dude's car is stolen, he's still wearing his bowling shoes outside, which. Uh, as far as I can tell, they always rented the bowling shoes from the bowling alley because their bowling bags aren't the bigger size bag to uh, carry a, a pair of shoes as well. So he uh, he left with his bowling shoes on. But uh, anyway, keep this video moving. Um, also have uh, Batman Year One, which is what I watched last night. Again with the Batman theme. I know I, I'm a huge fan. Um, but, uh, yeah, I can't recommend this more. It's excellent. Really, really good. Amazing adaptation of, uh, of Frank Miller's novel. And, uh, in my opinion, it's better than Batman Begins. I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of that movie anyway. I thought it was half of a good movie. The first half was really boring and unnecessary to me. And, uh, the second half, when he actually finally becomes Batman, turned into, like, a really excellent flick. But, uh, that's just my opinion. I, I, I don't hate the film or anything. I'm just not a big, big fan of it never have been. But uh, that is awesome. Uh, I highly recommend picking up your one. It's uh, got some great features, got some great stuff on it, so uh, grab that. But uh, the last thing uh, movie-wise I got for my birthday was uh, this uh, George Carlin special. It's his last special that he did before he passed, and uh, this is actually the material that he was testing on tour whenever I got to see him uh, the year before he recorded this for HBO and then later uh, passed away that same year so uh, this is really cool to have because uh, I didn't have this before because it didn't come in the uh, all my stuff set I've got the big uh, George Carlin all my stuff box set and uh, this one came out after the box set so it's finally cool to actually have this in the collection but uh, yeah long live George Carlin man greatest comedian ever in my opinion dude really blew my mind as a kid uh, as to uh, just ways of thinking and, and the world and everything so but uh, anyway, uh, these three here are some uh, some Walmart pickups. <coughs> uh, I picked up Children of Men. I had this on DVD, but it was uh, eight bucks, and I, I couldn't pass it up on Blue because I absolutely love this film and uh, had to get it in high def. So, and uh, yeah, but wanted to replace that one and didn't have this before. This uh, this is Final Tap. Um, have not seen this actually. I've always seen clips from it and. Uh, uh, the clips always made me laugh, so I always thought, you know, I need to pick this up sometime. But this uh, this Blu-ray edition is really nice. It's got uh, it says uh, one hour deleted scenes and outtakes, audio commentary by the members of Spinal Tap, catching up with uh, Marty DeBerge, I guess, uh, feature at Flower People press conference, four classic Spinal Tap music videos, uh, Spinal Tap appearance on the Joe Franklin show, uh, Spinal Tap sells cheese and a variety of other exciting products. Exclusive bonus DVD includes Stonehenge performance at the 2007 Live Earth concert and National Geographic Stonehenge interview with Nigel Puffnell. So, uh, yeah, that'll be fun to watch when I'm in a comedic mood. And then uh, I picked this up uh, at kind of the beginning of this month, I think, somewhere around there uh, for, like, Halloween season. It's the uh, Full Moon Edition of uh, American Werewolf. And I uh, can't recommend this more as well. Uh, both the, the Spinal Tap was uh, 8 bucks at Walmart, and so was this. Um, I recommend that because it's got a ton of really cool extra stuff on it. I uh, picked this up for 8 bucks at a, a used place that's uh, laid to rest. heard a lot of good things about this, and I was actually really, really uh, entertained by this movie. It's just a fun harken back to the old days of, uh, you know, like slasher horror, but extremely graphic and violent and uh, just a ton of blood, ton of great kills and, and stuff and uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I'm looking forward to seeing the sequel now just uh, just to see how they figured out how to do a sequel but uh, anyway yeah I'd recommend Lead the Rest, fun movie. 
Uh, this is a random eBay pickup for really cheap. This was under ten dollars with shipping and everything. It's a uh, Abel Ferrars, the Driller Killer. If you don't know who he is, uh, you might have seen Bad Lieutenant or King of New York, uh, two of his more famous movies. But uh, also did Miss Forty Five and a bunch of bunch of cool movies. But uh, yeah, this one's uh, limited to ten thousand. Number seven thousand six hundred and two of ten thousand. Two disc set. It's got a booklet in it and some stuff. It's in really good shape for ten bucks. And then uh, I guess lastly, um, I picked up the uh, Amityville Horror uh, Collection. It's just the first three films with a uh, bonus Amityville Confidential disc. Um, picked this up for ten bucks whenever I went and picked up Arkham City. Um, yeah, you know, I couldn't really pass it up. I've never been a, a huge fan of this series, but I can't really say that I'm not a fan because I only really saw the first one whenever I was younger and uh, just never really got back to checking it out and. Uh, I didn't like it a lot, but I, I, like I said, I was pretty young when I saw it, and uh, at that time, you know, all I cared about was blood and guts and, you know, Jason and Freddy and stuff like that, so uh, I hadn't uh, broadened my horizons quite yet, but I uh, actually really enjoyed it. I've only watched the first one and uh, the, the fourth bonus disc, but uh, I really enjoyed the film. Uh, it's pretty good acting. I, I like Margot Kidder a lot, so, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. Um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, still commenting on the vids and stuff. Wish I got a little bit more interaction with you guys. Uh, just uh, saying, hey, or, you know, I'd like to see this, like to see that, or whatever. But, uh, it's whatever. I guess uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.